Hello people, welcome back. I'm Anish Wagle and this is my YouTube channel. And today we are creating this beautiful looking Rubik's Cube in Blender 2.8. Today I will be using array modifier to create this Rubik's Cube. So you will have a basic understanding of how to use array modifier to create repeating object in Blender 2.8. So without any delay, let's start. Let's start by creating a new scene and first I would like to remove all the default objects so that I can have a new cube and start working on it. At first let's work on this one piece of the Rubik's Cube so that we can uh, extend it using array modifier in the future. So now let's change the selection mode to face select mode and using insert tool by pressing I in your keyboard you can insert face in the cube. Uh, I want to do this because I want to make the cube look like an extra sticker is attached in its face so that it will look more real. For this smooth round look in the cube I would like to add a bevel modifier. I would also like to change the segment from 1 to 2 so that it will look more smoother. Now that our one piece of the cube is looking good, let's go to the texture paint tab to add the texture to it and make it even more realistic. Texture paint tab is divided into two sections where one section is for painting the texture and another is your viewport where you can see your 3D model with applied texture. To apply any to draw any texture at first you need to have a texture so let's create a new texture over here here I would like to give a name of color and apply it now to draw the texture you have to change this to the name of the currently created texture or the texture which you want to edit and here you can draw any patterns which you want in your 3d model here is the color wheel from which you can select the color which you want to apply in the texture. You can edit the brush size of your painting brush by pressing F in your keyboard and dragging your mouse. So now let's uh, add the color of the cubes in our texture. Here we have our first color is white, uh, another is green, next yellow, now orange next is red and finally we have blue currently the texture is applied randomly in our objects because we haven't applied the uv of our object in the texture for that let's go to uv editing here you can change the preview to texture preview so that you can see the changes applied in your object now to assign the color to the face you what we can do is select the face and edit its uv in the uv panel you can scale its size so that it will fit perfectly in the color grid and move the move its uv to the color which you want it to assign to so let's quickly assign all the faces to their corresponding colors there are still some random colors in the edges but we will fix them later for now let's move back to the layout tab and get started with our edit modifier here you can enable the preview texture preview so that you can see the colors in your layout view as well you can add array modifier by going to your modifier tab and selecting array modifier and as you can see here it creates another identical cube of our original cube and by increasing the count it increases the number of cube created as well and if we make some changes in our cube then the changes will be applied throughout all the cubes created by the edit modifier i want to have a small gaps between the cubes so for that let's enable this constant property and add 0 0.05 uh, to it so that it will have a very slight gap in between the cubes as the modifiers applies from top down uh, when i apply another array modifier it clones first three cubes which are which was created by our first array modifier and clone it again to move this cube in our y direction to create the floor of the cube what i can do is uh, change the relative uh, distance of x to zero and y to one 
again to have those little gap i can enable the constant and but this time i can change the white position with 0.05 by doing exactly the same but for z direction i can apply another array modifier and create a complete cube now our rubik's cube is almost complete all that's left is to fix the colors and lightning camera and rendering for that let's apply our array modifiers remember that applying a modifier means the changes are now permanent that means by applying all the modifiers all the cube which was generated by our array modifier becomes real as you can see here now let's go back to our uv editing and select all the faces of the cube by pressing a and now on select all the faces with the color by holding shift and clicking on all the faces after the selection is done what you can do is hover your mouse toward our uv editing section and by pressing s and uh, you can scale and drag them to this dark part so that all the other faces will be completely black so here it is the rubik's cube is ready now let me quickly have a ground plane and tweak a little bit to prepare it for the rendering to set up the camera add the camera to the wall by pressing shift a and selecting camera you can snip the camera to your viewport by pressing ctrl alt and zero and to tweak a little bit press yarn to bring this menu and by checking lock camera on viewport what you can do is uh, normally move your mouse uh, like you are navigating and your camera will move along with you so it will be easier for you to set up the camera after you are satisfied uh, don't forget to uncheck the lock camera to the viewport so that you can you will not mistakenly destroy the setup you, which you just made so the last thing remaining to do is setting up the lightning uh, for this scene I have used two sunlights uh, one placed just behind the camera and another in the opposite direction of our object uh, with different strengths so that it will complement the scene uh, after setting up the light everything is done we can render the scene by pressing F2 well so this is how we create Rubik's Cube in Blender 2.8 using array modifier if you like the content then please subscribe because it motivates me creating new content and please comment down below what should I model next.